really, I am cooking, but all very easy things because I'm not the best cook. If you didn't see my last vlog, I am here in Pittsburgh with my parents. My mom just got hip replacement surgery, so I'm helping her recover. Her surgery went perfectly. It's actually crazy that you can get hip surgery and then you're like up and walking around the same day. It's wild, she's doing great. She's taking a little nap right now. I'm going to make her some vegetable soup. This is not my recipe, it is hers, so it is not vegan. We're literally putting ground bison in it. I'm sure it's great. <laughs> I am making a new recipe that I have discovered and fell in love with. And it's super simple. It is cucumber, onion, vegan sour cream, a little dill and salt and pepper, and that's it. Creamy cucumber salad, and it is so, so good. But I went to the grocery store and I couldn't find the dill because they were out, but I was asking the guy who was restocking the produce section if they had any dill and he looked at me like I had three heads and like did not respond for the longest time. It was the most awkward thing ever. I was like, no, we don't have dill. And then he said, you know, if we had it, I think it would be right over there on that end cap. So I walk over to where he pointed me to and he pointed me to pickles, dill pickles. So bless his heart. <laughs> We're working with some very limited dying dill. I love dill. Dill is the hot girl herb of the season. I just decided. If you have never had salt on cucumber as a snack, it's so, so good. And there she is. <laughs> it is so good. I like, cannot express how good this is. I know it might not look like much. I also feel like if you're someone who loves French onion dip, with potato chips. This is a really good alternative because you get the crunch, the creaminess, it's salty still. It's just kind of like a slightly healthier option. Probably not that healthy when I eat the whole thing, but whatever. Hi, cutie. Hi. <laughs> Miss you. Miss you. How's your food? Good, I made a little taco bowl. We're having like a little lunch date. Yeah, it's cute. So cute. I freaking love Pennsylvania. There's three rabbits in the front yard and five turkeys across the street. <laughs> exhausted. We are stressed and we are busy. It's Monday. I landed in LA. Well, I landed in Orange County, went and stayed at my in-laws house because we had our sister-in-law's baby shower on Sunday. Karen and I drove home, passed out. We actually passed out on the couch. We are leaving for New York Wednesday at 7 a.m. I know, very silly of me to leave Pittsburgh, which is a very quick short flight to New York and come all the way back here just to go back. But that's what's happening. It was so much fun to be with my mom and she was a very, very easy, not demanding patient to take care of, but it's draining. And I just did not take care of myself at all in the process. But now that I'm home, and especially because I'm traveling again, I want to take a little time, just focus on myself. I'm going to do a full the work shower. I love it, but it just takes a while. We need to wash our hair, we need to cleanse, we need to exfoliate, we need to shave, we need to moisturize, we gotta do it all. I have really been trying to put as much effort into the skin on my body as I do to the skin on my face. Y'all know I love my Osea products. Female founded, family operated. They really put so much care into their products. They're vegan, cruelty free, clean, seaweed based, and they're incredibly effective. This is the Undaria Cleansing Body Polish. And this may sound counterintuitive to me taking care of my skin like I take care of my face, but this is actually a three in one product. It's gonna exfoliate and cleanse and moisturize but it's not one of those just like do it all because we're lazy product. There's actually a purpose for it being able to do all three. It's gonna exfoliate using both physical micro exfoliants and AHA, so it's really exfoliating the skin while it's cleansing, but then it's not gonna strip your skin like a lot of exfoliants can because it's going to be hydrating at the same time. I use it about two to three times a week. I really love to use this before shaving. I hate whenever my skin's really dry right before I start shaving. I use an oil to shave, so this is really great that it's hydrating that skin and prepping it for the shave. I also get these little bumps on the back of my arm and they drive me crazy. I pick at them and I make them worse and I also get them on the back of my legs. So this is really nice because it's going to exfoliate that away. And I wanted to deal with them. The consistency of this is so unique. It starts as like a gel whipped oil texture and then when it comes in contact with water, it's going to transform into this nourishing milk consistency. <sighs> I feel so much better. I am still stressed, so it did not necessarily wash all that away, but it's okay. I'm feeling better. We are gonna get everything done. And for a limited time, you can get 10% off Osea using my code CAMIUCBP. I will also put all the information in the description box below. Let's get to work. I was just like zoning out. <laughs> we're going boxing. Mm -hmm. She just realized this may be really dumb because we're gonna be so sore tomorrow for our flight. We'll feel so happy that we worked out. <laughs> Hi, how are you? 
<laughs> of course, you're going all the way to death. She's just too darn tall. Not just the gloves. The whole family looks like a bunch of little angels. It's so glowy. You have like a halo. <laughs> oh, Vince just a big old baby. Taryn and I were supposed to have probably the most adult meeting. <laughs> She's finding pictures and videos from four years ago and losing her mind. <laughs> we were supposed to have probably the most adult meeting we've ever had in our lives. And that is for, uh, I almost said health insurance. Life insurance. Life baby. insurance, baby. He's one of us just. <laughs> That is so scary. They would give Cammy my salary or I would get, the government would. Well, so. I guess the government wouldn't, the, in, the life insurance people would. But isn't that through government? I don't think so, just like health insurance isn't the government. <laughs> oh. I don't know, I don't get it. This is why we needed the meeting. <laughs> but it got moved, so we're doing it next week, so we'll keep you guys posted on what that entails. We just ordered some coffee because Postmates does not sponsor us, we sponsor Postmates. <laughs> get this day rocking because in less than 24 hours, we'll be on a flight to New York City. Hey, will you give me your best Broadway impression? Does anyone <laughs> hear me? Anyone? Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> One, I love the confidence <laughs> as we are outside in our neighborhood. Wait, but wasn't it? And it was so good. You know how they like say loud and then they go. Yeah. And then like the little what? emotional whisper. Yeah. You're amazing. Thank you. Are you going to be on stage? And kiss your, kiss your, kiss kiss your boob. Karen is taking a meeting outside and Frank is being. Very quick homework. <gasps>